Should we pay taxes or not? Always a topic of discussion, always has interest. Been a lot of talk about taxes in the last two years around here. And that hasn't changed for thousands of years. 2,000 years ago, people came to Jesus with just that question. The Jewish nation was under an occupying power that many considered to be utterly illegitimate as rulers of the land of, of Judea, of Israel. And so the question was, should we pay taxes to this occupying power? Kaiser Augustus in Rome. We say Caesar, a family name originally that came to be the title of the supreme rulers of Rome and then came to represent authority in general. And Jesus addresses the question as a question about authority in general, although he does say Kaiser, Caesar. So they asked Jesus in the story that is recorded in Luke chapter 20, they asked Jesus, should we pay tax to Kaiser or not? So Jesus answered them. And Jesus' answer has a surprising twist at the end something surprising that is so surprising and so unsettling to most people that it is almost never talked about. And when it is talked about, it is dismissed as a nothing, as an aside, when it is the most important point. But let us first get to their question and the answer. They ask Jesus, should we pay tax? to Caesar or not. So Jesus said to them, show me a coin. He named the coin. And of course, everybody had money. And so they showed him the coin. And he looks at the coin. And he says, whose image is that? Whose inscription, that is, whose words, whose name? Oh, it's Caesar's. Coin would say Kaiser Augustus. Hmm. So Jesus says, well then, render to Caesar what is Caesar's. Very straightforward, very simple. And he gives us a very simple test. I grew up next to a road called 140. That's what we called it. We just said 140. And sometimes people question, why does the government say what we can and can't do on the road? Why does the government say that if I carry certain cargo, I have to put these funny placard signs on there? Why does the government say that if I drive a big truck, I have to keep an accurate log and say even when I stop to get a hamburger, I have to say when I sleep, when I get up, and da, 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 I can. Why can? I'm a good enough driver. I don't need all these rules. Why? Well, the full name of that road is U.S. Route 140, United States Route 140. And on the signs that I saw growing up was a representation, a very loose representation of the shield that is the symbol of the power of the United States government. Whose image and whose inscription are on that road? Kaiser, in our case. United States government in the place 
of the Kaiser. It is so easy, even a child can understand it. I was explaining this the other day. We live near a road called Highway 13. And it's a big deal about who gets to set the rules, who gets to set the speed limit. And not only that, who can set rules about what the police can and can't do about that speed limit. It's somewhat controversial down here. Well, what is the full name of the road? Louisiana State Route 13. Oh, it bears the inscription of Louisiana. And not only that, if you look at those signs with the big number 13 and look at them carefully, you see that surrounding the number 13 is an outline of the shape of the state of Louisiana. Even a child can understand this. It's Louisiana's road. And Louisiana can say what the rules are. Render to Caesar what is Caesar's. And it is so easy to see what belongs to Caesar.